Hello. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Dude, honestly, I'm just saying hi. Like, welcome, welcome everyone. Hi everyone. To episode number six. Great to see you all again. <laughs> can you see them? Can you? Nope, I cannot. <laughs> I'm just saying to the camera. Hello. Cool. What's been going on? Just made you a cup of tea. Oh, did you? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I didn't even see that there. I know. What kind of tea is it? Just sip it and see if you can guess. All right, let's 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 have a go. Kylie's made me a cup of tea. Let's go. See if you can guess the flavour. Blood orange. Yeah, it is. How it do is you know? It? Yeah, I know. No, I like my teas. Well, do you? I'm quite into my teas. <laughs> We've got quite the collection at home. We've got green tea, peppermint tea, blood orange tea. We've got the, quite the fruit selection. My favourite is that, ras I think it's raspberry and strawberry. Raspberry, strawberry, yep. That's a mm. dope tea. That's an awesome tea. Our house is very boring. If you ever come over, that's what we make you. We'll make you tea. It's a tea. Yeah. Mm. But uh, anyway, we've got our cuppa. Shall we begin this episode? Cheers. Cheers. Hello and welcome to the Ventura Nutrition Q&A. Uh, we've got some good questions lined up here today that you guys have been sending in. Thank you so much. For anyone who's never watched one of our episodes before, the way these work is uh, you guys are more than welcome. Anyone, not just our clients, anyone at all is more than welcome to send a question about any topic at all. It actually doesn't have to be about nutrition. Um, it can be about supplements. It can be about training. It can be about life. It can be about kids. <laughs> we've got three kids can be about that what anything you guys need help with i think on the last episode we even got a question about how to get our kids to eat veggies yeah that's how right. we're helping a young mum mm -hmm. how to um get her children to eat more veg um you can send your questions to uh info at venturanutrition.co.nz um, or via the uh, contact form on our website venturanutrition.co.nz or just by sending us a dm on instagram or facebook our handle is at ventura nutrition uh, for both platforms and uh, when you guys send them in, we don't always get a chance to answer all of them, but we do our best to answer the ones we can in the best way we can, as if, like when we're talking to each other, right? Yeah, like as if we're all sitting around a campfire or exactly. at a pub or, you yeah. know. Yeah, well, if there's there's one thing about us that everyone should know by now is that we love a chat. Yeah. And we're the same with our mates. We're the same with each other, actually. <laughs> yeah, right? we, we We talk about everything, so. And um, we don't claim to know the answers for everything. Mm. Yep. We're just mates having a chat, sitting down, you know, and we're just Definitely. trying to get some information out there. Yeah, it's, it's, it's as if a friend was going to ask us, right? Exactly. If we're sitting in a truck, you know, if I'm driving Carly's passenger and one of you guys are in the back seat and you just pop your head to the front of the cab and say, hey, hey guys, can I just run something by you? <laughs> in front of the cab. What? <laughs> What's wrong with that? Is that what it's Isn't called it? in the front? We'll just be like that. <laughs> Just sort of happy family just driving and then like our mate pops their head up and goes hey guys can i ask you a question and we're just like oh yeah sure so that, that's how we look at it we're not um we're not trying to say that we have the answer to everything we're not trying no, to not say that all. we're experts by any means we're just here to give our opinion um after our years in the industry and our years in life all right here we go um so i've got a few here uh, this we'll one, do, yeah, yeah, I want to do this one first. What do you think of this one? This is a postpartum. Oh, I just saw my name and I was like, oh. yeah, I actually, I, I labeled that one for you because I thought this would be a great one for you. So this one's from Georgia. She says, Kylie, your hair is gorgeous. And I'd like to know. Yeah, that is that is a nice compliment. Thank you, Georgia. Why am I saying thank you? You're not complimenting <laughs> my hair. Kylie's the one with the nice hair. Uh, I'd like to know if you use anything in particular to get it like that. Do you have anything I can take postpartum to stop hair loss, please? My mates have said collagen for strong hair, but I'm not really sure. That's, That's a good question. Yeah. So what I would say, first of all, I also suffered with um, postpartum hair loss. After each baby, it actually seemed to get worse and worse. But 
the reason for hair loss after having a baby is because when you're pregnant, your estrogen skyrockets. And then once you have the baby, estrogen drops down and DHT comes up. So the DHT is what causes the hair loss. Um, Roger actually put me on a few different supplements, but we also changed some of the things in my diet as well. Mm. Um, yeah, we did. I mean, the probably the, one of the best supplements for cleaning out not not just DHT but all excess hormones. Um, if you look on our website, Georgia, um, under the hormone health or hormone support category on our website, you'll find a product called Nolvastar. Yeah, Nolvastar is awesome. Um, that is essentially the two main ingredients in there is um, stinging nettle root, and um, there's actually three main ingredients. Actually, it's stinging nettle root, um, indole three carbonyl and uh, DIM, DIM, which is a sh short, short term for diendyl methane. It sounds, those names sound crazy. Like if you say to somebody, yeah, tr you know, try some diendyl methane. You know, it, it sounds, <laughs> sounds uh, yeah, yeah, it sounds whack. But yeah. those ingredients, funnily enough, are just taken from cruciferous vegetables. They are taken from cauliflower. They are taken from broccoli. And essentially what they do is they bind up and collect any excess hormone matter that is floating around in your bloodstream or in, in your body. So in this case, um, especially even with Kylie, um, after she had um, high levels of DHT and low levels of estrogen after her pregnancies, in order to rebalance those hormones, you have to clear out the excess and whatever's low needs to be brought back up. So as Kylie said, there are foods that you can implement to bring up anything that is low, mm -hmm. but to dispose of anything that is in excess or high, in this case, most likely DHT, I went um, on trim and cleans, wasn't it? Uh, yes, we did the combination of Nolvastar, which is obviously the three ingredients I spoke about before, yes. um, endo 3 carbonyl, diendyl methane, and the um, stinging nettle root. That's to remove the excess hormone matter out of your bloodstream. And then the um, trim and cleans, which is a, a psyllium fiber, and that is to remove the hormones through the bowel to finally get them to excrete out of your body. Um, these These products are really good for rebalancing hormones for anybody. It's not just for postpartum. Uh, we sell it to a lot of men as well. Um, yep. Funnily enough, the hormone you mentioned before, the DHT, mm. it's the number one hormone responsible for male hair loss as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, and also high DHT levels have been linked in certain studies to prostate cancer in men. So someone like my dad, who's a prostate cancer survivor, mm. I have my dad on Novastar for a lot of the year. Mm. I myself use it to, to prevent uh, hormone issues in myself so it's a really good all-round product that a lot of different people can use so those are two supplements that you could implement that uh, could help um, again that's if this is what we are dealing with i would highly recommend a blood test from your gp or from your midwife just to determine exactly what your specific issue is but in kylie's case um, that's what we did and it helped her in a tremendous way another thing um, that we did as well was you implemented quite a few diet changes, right? Yeah, so I cut sh all sugars because yep. um, yep. sugar in um, your body raises insulin and insulin converts into androgens. Mm -hmm. and, and androgens, they wreak havoc specifically in a female. Definitely, um, yeah. Androgens, Georgia, um, are responsible for like patches of hair loss. And so where you'll find um, a high androgen reading um, is in uh, polycystic ovarian syndrome cases, mm. right? So girls with PCOS, they'll usually start to thin in their scalp, yeah. but then they'll start getting like patches, patches. of facial hair. Mm. That's from androgens. And so yeah. um, that's n got nothing to do with what you asked us, yeah. but it is um, a good point Kylie raised worth noting yeah. that... Just to try limit your sugar. Yeah, limit your sugar because an excess of, you know, simple sugars will spike your insulin, as Kylie said, and that will have more androgens present in your body which is just not helping your case no, it's not if you're trying to your thicken case. your hair so yeah. hopefully those pieces of advice help um well there was another part of the question she said about collagen yes so she said yeah. um what do you say here so a lot of her mates have said my collagen. mates have said collagen for strong hair so yeah this is i wanted to make sure i touch on this mm. because in this particular case my honest opinion is i think collagen is completely useless when it comes to this. So yeah. I think so too, yeah. Collagen's an incredible product, incredible mm. um, aspect of, of the human diet. Um, we, we encourage a lot of our clients to not just use collagen supplements, but mm. also eat 
collagen rich foods. But in this particular case, Georgia, I noticed you said in your message, my mates have said collagen for strong hair. Mm. That's exactly what collagen's for. It's for strengthening the hair, not for hair loss. Yeah, hair loss comes from the actual root. Yes, so the, and the inside. no pun intended, but the root cause as well. Yeah, yeah. You see, so if you find the root cause of your hair loss, then you'll be able to address the hair loss. Where mm. collagen would be handy is if we're talking about something like brittle hair. Yeah, brittle right? hair or like brittle nails. Brittle nails, yes. You know, like people take it for their skin as well. Yes, and, and that's actually a good point is a lot of people don't even know this, um, especially not supplement shops, and supplement shops are the ones flogging it, but mm. they, they don't know this. There are 28 different types of collagen in the human body, and whichever type you are using will determine what benefits you are yielding. So just to give you an example, um, if you have a like an injured body part, you know, if you like have a wound that's mm. like healed, the scar tissue that heals, that, that, that tough, gritty scar tissue, that's type 1 collagen. Uh, type 2 collagen is what your joints and ligaments are made of. So, you know, somebody who's trying to heal a, a wound would need type 1 collagen. Someone who's got joint issues would need type 2. Mm-hmm. Um, the list goes on. And there's type 3, isn't there? Type 3 is actually, funnily enough, the um, the mesh around your liver. Mm. So if you have a, a client or a patient with, um, you know, liver disease, hepatitis, yeah. and so forth, you'd give them type 3 collagen because uh, that will help the integrity of the liver and keep the organ whole, stop it from breaking apart. Funnily enough, the collagen that your hair is made of is type 5. Mm. So even if... I didn't even know that. Didn't you? Yeah. Oh, well. Type 5, hey. Oh. Cheers to that. <laughs> yeah. I just learned something else. Kylie just This guy's something. memory is something else. I'm sitting there, I know, like, just small little facts, but this guy's... Full of knowledge. I'm just a geek. This but... brain is just like <laughs> <laughs> absorbs everything. I know nothing else in life, just this stuff. <laughs> but yes, if uh, your friends, Georgia, are saying take collagen for stronger hair, although it won't help your hair loss, yes, it will make your hair stronger, but I don't think hair strength is the issue here. But mm. that being said, I mean, if they're just flogging some collagen that's taken from like, you know, pig tendons yeah like the wrong type of collagen wrong type of collagen yeah. you might be using without realizing it mm. you know type 2 collagen from a from bovine or from beef yeah. or from fish or milk. and it will help like other areas of your body absolutely but... you might have thin hair yeah but like a brilliant liver yeah, yeah. because you're using type 3 collagen and you don't even know when it comes to hair health georgia um for hair loss specifically postpartum mm. that's usually hormone fluctuations as as kylie said yeah to do with the uh, pregnancy and the effects felt postpartum. Mm. Um, when it comes to collagen, that's a very specific, and it needs to be done properly. And it, my, in my honest opinion, I don't think it's going to help you in this case. Yes, but it's also very important to say that hair loss after having a baby mm. is very normal. Mm-hmm. But there are things you can do to help the hair that has fallen out. You can help it rejuvenate a lot quicker mm. by taking these supplements that Roger has um, suggested. But, yeah, you're not alone. I'm sure any mum that you talk to loses their hair. Oh, I know yeah. I did. Very common. We were onto it, like, straight away. Um, yeah. We have a really good GP. We we ran blood tests on you every three months. Mm. You know, um, uh, me and our GP, we kept in touch along the way. Um, and that's actually really important as well as having a good doctor mm. to hold your hand through this whole process. And also, the reason we speak so um, highly of blood work is because it is the blueprint to the human body so it'll show you exactly what's going on you know rather than just tossing a bunch of supplements down the hatch and just you know hoping yeah. for the best it's it's always good to find the root cause mm-hmm. another um uh topic that i almost forgot is also um thyroid health uh, thyroid health the state of your thyroid can determine your hair health as well yeah. um you know because you just said the estrogen goes up. Yeah. So when estrogen rises in a female, estrogen suppresses thyroid function. So it would pay Georgia as well to uh, get your GP to look at your thyroid too, because when the thyroid is suppressed during pregnancy, sometimes it doesn't bounce back postpartum. And when the thyroid is suppressed, it, your body can't convert the hormones mm. as it needs to. So um, another good um, supplement for you to take year round postpartum or not is a good multivitamin that's specifically high in copper, selenium, and iodine. Those three are the three most important nutrients for thyroid health. Mm. So even though you may be perfectly fine, it is something worth checking and worth looking into. 
to make sure that your thyroid has bounced back postpartum. And we can do that by, as I say, implementing a good multivitamin with copper, selenium, and iodine um, in high clinical dosages. That will essentially just keep your thyroid in good nick, which means your body will be able to have no issues processing any hormones. Yeah, that's right. I mean, I, I've never stopped taking my multivitamin. No, I think I mean, I've been on it. Well, that's why we call it the insurance policy, mm. right? We call our multivitamins the insurance policy. We do two really, really good ones on our website at the moment. Revive, which was our number one seller for many, many years. Yeah. Um, recently, that was overtaken by um, the Vitaminerals, the Comadult. Yeah, Comadult. Comadult, which is what I use, Kylie I'm uses. Um, uh, my dad is on it. Uh, we, we, put it. we put our whole family on it. But the main reason being that no matter what the ailment in the individual Coma Delt has a really, really high level of good quality vitamins and minerals. And in this particular case, copper, selenium, and iodine, it has those three in great dosages as well. So don't jump straight on to that, but that's something worth looking into once you've done all your necessary checks mm. through, through your GP or midwife. Yeah. All right. That pretty well there. Cheers. Thanks. Oh gosh. I'm answering post and postpartum questions. What's <laughs> what has the world come to? I know, but you know, you're the man at that sort of stuff. All right, shall we go on to the next one? This is a short one. Uh, no name. Um, it just says, "Sorry if this is a dumb question, but am always been, but am always been curious." I think I've. I think it means, but I've always been curious. Yeah, maybe. But I've always been curious. But I've always been curious as to what is the coloured stuff people drink in the gym in their water. Mm. I've been asked that quite a lot. As mm. well. I would say it could be BCAAs. BCAAs. Or yep. It could be carbs. Yep, and true workout carbohydrates. Yep. 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 Or it could be pre workout. People still. It could be pre. pre yeah, I mean that is odd. If yeah. you are walking about the gym <laughs> sipping on but pre, a lot of them do, they eh? do, yeah. I've actually, I've actually seen people, um, you know, back when we used to have the shop next door to the gym. Mm. Our shop used to be right next door to a gym, and some of the things you'd see in that parking lot, I've seen um, people leave the gym midway through a workout to go to their boot, and shop back pre workout, and then go back in. Oh wow! Yeah, like almost like they've been there too long, and then they need. Yeah, correct. To hit yeah, I've I've actually even seen people go out and get sushi and come eat it in the gym. <laughs> But while they're training, but oh. no, I think um, Kylie's right. It's either um, one of those three. The fourth, um, to add to that, it might just be cordial from the think? supermarket. You never know what yeah. people are sipping on, but it's the coloured stuff, though. Like yeah. you said, the colourful stuff. So what? And so like you'd in go your expertise. What mm. would you say? Like the real colourful stuff is because well, BCA isn't I'd that colourful, is it? Or is it? Uh, it actually comes down to how it's flavor? been made. Yeah, and what colourings they're using. Um, what flavour? And what flavor, of course. Um, but like, just to give you an example, you know, the um, the uh, MFL, Glutamina. Mm. So MFL, uh, one of our brands, they do a product called Glutamina, which is Glutamine and Amino. You mix that up, but it's it's organically flavored and no artificial colors or, or um, preservatives, right? Mm. So, for example, <laughs> you take a scoop of strawberry, it's pretty much clear. Yeah. And then you take a uh, scoop of lemonade, and it's pretty Bridge much clear as like well. like a whitish clear, mm. and then you take a scoop of watermelon, and it's like the lightest, lightest pink, pink yeah, yeah you've ever seen in your life. And so, from an aesthetic standpoint, if you're using an organic product with no artificial chemical content, that shouldn't be that much coloring. It, yeah, it won't look that good. You probably wouldn't notice it from a mile away. You just mm. go on oh, a bit of dirty water in that guy's bottle, um, yeah. and also the, the taste is never that great. The brighter the colors. The more it grabs your attention, the the more aesthetically pleasing it is, the easier it is to sell, right? Mm. You know? And then the better it tastes. Can you imagine that? When it, yeah. you're, you're, you're at the gym and your friend goes, oh, try a scoop of this. And they throw it in your water bottle. And, yeah. oh. People used to do that to me too. I remember that. I remember me walking into the gym with you and... And they'll go, oh, have you tried have this? Have you tried this? Yeah, yeah. Hey, you Give tried... me a water bottle and I'll yeah. chuck some in. And no, thank you. <laughs> I just think, where are we? That people are sneaking things into people's drinks. Where are we? Uh, but I think um, it's definitely a marketing gimmick as far as I'm concerned mm. because BCAs, for example, I mean, you usually have yours at night, mm. right? I usually have mine after my workout. Yeah, I have them after workout After workout well. too. So after workout, is when you're trying to recover mm. um, before bed is when you're about to recover 
Mm. When I see people drinking BCAs in the gym, from a scientific standpoint, I don't understand it. I, I know why they're doing it. They're doing it because it says on the bottle. It says on the bottle, and you know the guy in the supplement shop told them to. Yeah. But if you actually think about it from a scientific standpoint, BCAAs are there to initiate re- recovery. So they're there to start the recovery process. In your case, um, you, you right now you're using the Icon Muscle yeah. BCA EAA. So Kylie uses the Icon Muscle BCA EAA. That is a combination of branched chain amino acids and essential amino acids. Mm-hmm. Incredible for recovery and rebuilding muscle tissue. But if Kylie was to drink it while she was training, that is one heck of a way to confuse her nervous system and her mm. body because you'd be telling your body h- halfway through a workout to okay, recover. Yeah. <laughs> when you're trying to break down the fibers. Exactly. Yeah. Please start recovering. Yeah. And then you're going to do a set and breaking it down again. Yeah. Like, what is going on? Yeah, that's so, true, true. I never thought of it like that. The only the only one I think is justified um, in drinking while you train would be electrolytes. Mm. Because if somebody's trying to replace sodium potassium calcium magnesium while they're training that's performance related Mm. so that will allow them to perform better because they're enabling their body to keep all of its key minerals balanced so uh to answer your question um no name person good question really good question Uh, there are many answers to that question um and as i say depending on what's in that person's bottle it could be a real asset to their training mm. or it could be a complete waste of time depending on what's in there exactly all right <laughs> on to the next one. Oh, this is a cool one so this is beth from tauranga she says hi roger if you and kylie had to pick one supplement as your favorite go-to supplement which one would it be i know mine you know yours yeah do you know yours um Number one, like your one. So what? Hang on. So it's one. a one supplement, is it? Yeah. Your favorite. If you had to pick one supplement. Oh yeah, she says yeah. Is your if, favorite go-to? If you and Kylie had to pick one supplement, okay. So she's saying like combined, like one supplement. Or one. Well, let's just, we'll just one, do one we'll, each. Yeah, we'll do one each. We'll count. I say, I, okay, I got one. I got one. So we'll count to three, mm-hmm. and on three, you say yours. I'll say mine. All right. All right. Okay. One, two, three. Trim Vitamin and C. Eh? Hey? What did you say? Trim and cleans. Oh, true. Yeah, yeah. I, I can see why that one. I said vitamin C. Why did you say vitamin C? Vitamin C. Okay, so basically, she's saying if you had one, okay, one supplement is your favorite go-to. So if, if I was living on an island and I could only take one supplement with me, I would take vitamin C. I think vitamin C is the most underrated supplement in the world, full stop. Mm. And I don't know if it's because I'm a dad now and I'm a father of three and I tend to think this way, but there are so many jobs that vitamin C does in the human body. Mm. I think everyone, you just can't get enough of it. But would you say just vitamin C, or would you say the vitamin C, zinc, and D? Yeah, I'd say that, yeah, you're right. I'd say the ZDC. Yeah. The ZDC. Um, MFL, ZDC is what I would take with me. If I could take one supplement with me to an island, I would take that, the ZDC. Mainly for the, I mean, vitamin C would be my number one, but you're mm. right, the ZDC is a really, really good product because it has zinc. So the zinc's important for enthusiasm, mood, motivation, for the brain health, right? Mm. They, they found, um, um, so many studies found depleted zinc levels in the um, hippocampus and the amygdala of the brain in Alzheimer's and Parkinson's patients. Mm. So that's important for that, especially with all the stress of today's world. Yeah, Vitamin D3... That's an immune system modulator. So that means it regulates your immune system. So if you get an illness, your body knows what to do. Your body doesn't want to under attack and it doesn't want to over attack either. Mm -hmm. And then the reason I like vitamin C is because vitamin C is, it's responsible for holding a lot of collagen together in the body. It tightens collagen. And, you know, for people that don't know, every organ in your body is surrounded by collagen tissues. So for example, um, your arteries, you know, your cardiovascular heart, mm-hmm. um, your liver. The If your vitamin C levels are even just slightly off, um, which they, they call a, a subclinical def- deficiency, mm-hmm. if your vitamin C is just slightly off, it can cause the collagen fibers in your organs to start to fall apart. And that's how um, bleeding of the heart starts, you know, um, heart attacks happen, 
I will just add this last point, um, given the time that we're living in, what's going on in the world right now. Um, vitamin C is an incredible immune system modulator as well. So I agree. your T cells, your B cells, your neutrophils, these are all, mm. all these ones that I've mentioned are white blood cells. They're types of white blood cells that fight off pathogens. They fight off infections. They mm. fight off viral disease. So for me, vitamin C top of my list. If I had to choose one product, it would be um, the ZDC that Kylie mentioned. Um, that's my favorite product. I'm, I've, I'm taking that now. Mm. I've, I've been on that. I know. That's why I said years. vitamin C or that one because yeah, I right, always yeah. see you taking that Vitamin one. C, I'd say, is my favorite supplement. Like, oh, it's my favorite vitamin. Yeah. Vitamin C. That's how much geeks we are. We, <laughs> we sit around and like, oh, what's my favorite vitamin? <laughs> but I like vitamin C. But yes, uh, MFL, ZDC, zinc, D3, and vitamin C. You can't go wrong. Mm. Now, I'd like to pick this one's brain because she said a different product to me. So you yeah. said trim and cleanse, which funnily enough is our biggest selling product of all time. So did she say to take to an island or did you just no, say No, I that? added that bit in. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I was in. like, trim and cleanse to take to an island. I wouldn't <laughs> want to be on an island on trim and cleanse. No, nah, I just thought of like, sort of like trying to um, sort of picture myself, sort of ukulele on a kayak on my way to an island. And, I, yeah. and somebody goes, you can take one supplement. Yeah, but I'll you know why I said I don't want to take trim and clean to an island? Because it's a fiber and you get a poo. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Everyone okay, that takes okay. it. Okay, so in your case, there's a portaloo on the island. <laughs> now you can go hammer and tongs. All right. So my favorite supplement, um, being trim and cleanse, is because um, it's a fiber. Mm. Now a fiber is great for cleaning out the gut, mm. and it is also a prebiotic, which feeds the good bacteria in yeah, your the gut. Yeah, probiotics. That's exactly right. Um, so a lot of people take probiotics, but they don't know that in order for the probiotic to work, it needs the prebiotic. Um, and that's responsible, the fiber and the prebiotic is responsible for cleaning out your gut, your immune system, um, sleeping patterns, sleeping patterns mood. mood, your mm. thoughts, you know, all everything in your body really. Mm. So people who take trim and cleanse feel better for it because mm. it's so um good for removing all the bad stuff in your body yeah it's a it's um, a yeah, double right because it's a um trim and cleanse it's a psyllium fiber and it's a it's a soluble and insoluble fiber so yes. it's two two types of fiber here and, comes the geek with the yeah. science <laughs> <laughs> i said it the simple oh. way but he'll give you the science <laughs> See, now, now i don't want to say it because i feel like i'm going to be mocked i feel like i'm going to be mocked there you go. But yes, You're it's better. the uh, I haven't forgot what I was saying now. It is the um <laughs> Dude. She's always taking the piss. Okay, uh, I'll make it as simple as possible. Yeah. It, the fiber is awesome. Uh because psyllium fiber has what's called a high swell rate. And so when you add water to a very high soluble fiber, mm. it swells up. In the gut, and so when it swells up, that's awesome for pushing, pushing waste yeah. out. And it like cleans the walls of your intestines. Yes, it scrubs. And... It physically scrubs the walls because it's just of your gut. thick fiber. That's right. And um, what you end up feeling is you end up feeling better because a lot of leftover waste in the gut can be mm. hormone, waste and hormones. Yeah, yeah, hormone residue. You can have um, sugars. The, the 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 danger is that the waste particles reabsorb back up into your bloodstream, mm. and they can poison your blood cause acidosis or septicemia mm. so you don't want to be reabsorbing waste that's gone to your large intestine because your body's trying to get rid of it so i have to admit kylie's probably got the better answer than me there oh that's a first huh? i'm giving you your props that is actually very important is yeah. i'd probably say my favorite might be vitamin c but i'd say the most important for the body well yeah the, the, the thing that's missing from a lot of people's diets these days i think is soluble and insoluble fiber mm. that's a very good one and you know if you have poor gut health you can actually absorb the nutrients in your food no you're right i mean we've spoken about this before about the gut brain axis mm. and so you know for those of you who haven't tuned into our episodes previously the gut brain axis the gba um that's the vagus nerve that runs from your abdomen right up into your brain stem mm. um but that's actually got its own category of study that's called psychobiotics psychobiotics being the gut's influence on your psychological state mm. so i will admit defeat that i think kylie had the better answer for this one so uh, yeah. gut health people gotta take care of your gut yeah 
it's so important and yeah, it's just that overall favourite of mine. Oh, lovely. I'm always saying to this fella, I've run out of my trim and cleanse. Oh and he says, my We're gosh, out. <laughs> dude. When we run out of trim and cleanse, this one rips my head off. Oh, I just need but, I love but it. But fair play to you because it's mm. a great product. It just makes me feel good, you know. Boost my energy levels, but you said it's got a lot to do with your mood as well. So. Yes, well, I think actually, I mean, there's something to be learnt here from from your advice, in that, you know, you say it, it helps your mood. You say mm -hmm. it boosts your energy levels. There are a lot of people out there who are not getting enough fiber in their diet. Full stop. Mm. Right. So because they're not getting enough fiber in their diet, they're feeling sluggish. Yes. And they're feeling low. And unfortunately, what's been the answer? society's answer to that is you know xl energy drink cans mm. and you know energy, yeah. you know quadruple shot coffees and mm. pre-workouts that's like 500 megs of caffeine it's yeah they it just biologically solve, speaking yeah it doesn't solve the, solve root cause. the yeah biologically speaking it just makes no sense so from a little question like that that was a pretty good Kylie's dropping some knowledge bombs on oh, on you trying, guys and me trying she to keep is, up with you this one me just then yeah but i'm trying to keep up with Yo. you you know I do know myself. What am I on about vitamin C? <laughs> Get out of here with your vitamin C. No, nah, yeah. you had some good points too. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. I'm nearly out of my tea here. Of tea. All right, guys. So that brings us to the end of episode six. Thank you for tuning in and watching. That was awesome. That was fun. Yeah, some honestly like really cool questions coming I'm in. I'm just stoked that I schooled you in something. Oh, for <laughs> it's I'm, very rare. I'm not going to hear the, uh, the end of this. Like when the camera stops rolling, she's going to harp on and on <laughs> and on like a wasp in my ear about this. But I admit defeat. She had a better answer than I did. Not a better answer. I just think that is that a, a much answer. better product. It's really good. Yep. I mean, and there's a reason why it sells out. Yeah. But true. your product is good too there, Rog. Vitamin C. Yeah. Give vitamin C a little bit of, a little bit of love, yeah? Yeah. Well, that's right. I take it too, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks everyone so much for sending in all of your questions. We appreciate every single one of them. Uh, if you want to send us more questions, you can flick us a DM at Ventura Nutrition uh, on Instagram or Facebook or through the contact form on our website, VenturaNutrition.co.nz or just by direct email, uh, info at VenturaNutrition.co.nz. We appreciate all of it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Did you have anything you wanted to add, my love? No, just thank you for listening to our chit chat. Yeah. And and supporting Ventura Nutrition. Coming really to our campfire. It. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for taking a chair at our campfire and having a yarn with us. We'll see you guys next week for episode seven. I'm going to go finish off my cup of tea that Kylie got me. <laughs> it's a good cup of tea, isn't a it? A good cup of tea. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. See you next week. Peace. Peace.